Hi, I'm just back in the green room after the ITV debate. It was fantastic to have a chance to talk to the country. Rishi Sunak has dropped to the fourth spot as the Conservative's top choice to succeed Boris Johnson as UK PM. Wildcard candidate Kimi Bildenok is now leading. I have three children and I want the very best future for them. It is vitally important that we create a strong United Kingdom that is confident in itself. The Conservative home poll of 851 Tory party members gave Bildenok 11 points lead. That's why so many people want to come here, and we need to make sure that we keep it so. So a future that is confident, bright, strong, secure, with a wealthier economy. The United Kingdom is a great country, and I know that a united Conservative Party can unleash the potential of all the people who make our country so great. To win the next election, we need to deliver, deliver, and deliver for the British people. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss beat Junior Trade Minister Penny Mordaunt to second place at 20%. Thank you so much everyone for all your support tonight, all your encouragement. It's been a really wonderful evening. Penny Mordaunt was third at 18% and Sunak was fourth at 17%. At the time, Rishi was a young MP under increasing pressure from his bosses to back Remain. Sunak was Yet nine votes behind Mordaunt. the advice of his superiors and came out for Brexit. Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Tom Tugendhat was in fifth place. Because the reality is this country has been facing problems abroad and is now facing challenges at home and around the world. And the government, I'm afraid, has led to a lack of trust and a collapse in that confidence. This puts the view of the Tory grassroots at odds with the large chunk of Conservative MPs for whom Sunak is the clear front-runner so far. Sunak secured the backing of 101 MPs in the second ballot and 88 votes in the first ballot and was a top contender in both. It is the party members who get to make the final decision on the next leader and the future PM once Tory MPs have whittled down the candidates to the final two. The 41-year-old former Equalities Minister Bedenok, who is leading the race, was born in London to Nigerian parents. She spent her youth living in Lagos and the USA. Bedenok's self-styled, anti-woke, small government pitch has won her plenty of admirers on the right of the party, even among those who are backing another candidate. She resigned as the Equalities Minister alongside dozens of others in the week Johnson stood down. So a future that is confident, bright, strong, secure, with a wealthier economy. That's what I'm about. I'm the candidate for the future. I'm here to be honest with you. I can make a change.